Hey, hi, and hello. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at a shader that creates this glitter effect using shader graph. The shader will allow you to change how much random normal to affect each um, glitter piece, if you want to call them this way. Uh, the idea is just having a huge tiling value and for each tile it's going to have a random value uh, which will drive what's the, the random normal for this tile and so it's gonna reflect these lights in this fashion you can see you can move our light the way we want and so on so uh, if you like this tutorial and this effect make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you didn't many of you do not subscribe for some reason anyways uh, also check out the links that are in the description they are the only way I get support as I do not enable ads on my videos so let's just jump into the shader and I guess just before I start uh, the cloth here is just a cloth component uh, it's it's uh, built in unity it's a bit difficult to deal with which is why I don't have gravity on uh, but anyways let's jump into our shader and our shader is gonna have a couple of custom nodes um, that I'm gonna share the code for let's start by uh, taking a look at the random normal section so we have our glitter tiling float you can obviously have a different x and y if you would like uh, uh, plugged into a tiling offset we get the floor so that each tile uh, have one value uh, so that we can use that as the seed and our minimum is going to be the negative of the random normal and the maximum is going to be the normal the well the random normal this is one of the custom nodes. You can use uh, the random uh, value or, or I guess, uh, what is it called? Random range node that uh, is already provided in Shader Graph. However, this one creates normal values in a normal distribution fashion uh, rather, than, and, and rather than the other one, which just creates the same amount of each random value distributed equally uh, and the normal distribution just looks much better for this effect to see what this looks like um, uh, you just add a custom function node uh, you set it to the file that has the code and you put in the name of the function uh, obviously you have to also set the inputs and outputs so jumping into that which is this file we can see this is the name of the function without the underscore float this underscore float is just to uh, tell unity what the precision is uh, we are uh, it, it, this is mostly written by ChatGPT. to be honest it uses this box muller transform method which you can read uh, about on wikipedia if you like but it basically generates two uh, random values between zero and one and makes uh, or transforms them to be in a normal distribution uh, fashion and returns that right so going back here this um, i i am also just setting the z to one because that's what uh, uh, a normal map is usually set to, the Z is one. And then we blend our tangent space generated normal map. We blend it with uh, the normal vector node in world coordinates using a normal blend node, which is going to look something like this. And then we are going to use this for three things. We are going to Sadly, we are going to have to get our uh, the, the information for the main light 
for the other lights and for the reflection probe uh, so that we can control how much uh, power we want to multiply this with uh, otherwise we cannot really manage how much light um, we have so anyway uh, we are plugging this into the world normal of each of these three nodes, right? And these two, or even these three, this one, this one, and this one are custom functions. Uh, I'm going to also show uh, and share the code, although these ones are from this blog post by Unity, which shows you how to create uh, these functions and whatnot. If you would like to read it, I'll put the link in the description as well. Uh, so this function gets the information of the main light in relation to this current object. Uh, it takes in the position in world coordinates and gives you the direction of the light, the color of the light, which is usually the, uh, the directional light, right? Uh, uh, it gives you also the distance attenuation and the shadow attenuation, but we do not use this in this uh, shader. And then these, some of these information is, are plugged into this uh, other custom function, which calculates uh, the like specular uh, light that should be uh, kind of reflected uh, on, from this object. Uh, we're gonna have our parameter smoothness plugged into that, and these two are from this custom uh, function. The world normal is what I mentioned. The our random normal blended with the uh, world coordinates normal of the object and view direction is just view direction in world coordinates. Um, kind of the same thing uh, happens for this, the, the other lights, which gives you the information or the light information from all the other lights, like the point, the point light and the directional light and whatnot. And just straightforward plugging in uh, what it needs as well as this guy. Um, and for these, you can put all of them, as I did, I put all of the three functions in one file called light. And you know, you just set the inputs and outputs and the name of the function for each one of these uh, uh, nodes. This is the actual file. And you can see it has three functions. You don't really need to know what's going on inside. You can read the article if you would like to. And our third one is getting the reflections from the reflection probe. Um, again, same thing, just get the view direction, plug it in, use our blended normal and have a reflection LOD parameter so that we can change that from the editor. Um, then after that, I'm just adding a parameter to this value so that we can change it from the editor. And then I am adding all of uh, basically the reflection with other lights than this with the main light, just adding the three of them together. Then we're plugging it into a power node, have your parameter and then clamp so that we can limit what is the maximum uh, shine. Minimum is going to be zero and maximum is going to be our maximum shine parameter. Uh, and then this is going to be multiplied by our albedo. The albedo is going to be, um, you know, just adding some tiling to that, putting the texture into sample texture and multiplying a color parameter by that. And then I'm only uh, doing a, an extra step of multiplying uh, this parameter with uh, our texture before multiplying it with the other information. And that's going to be our uh, color. The only other thing is the is that I am plugging in the generated normal to this uh, output normal. And it's the generated one, this one, the tangent space, and not the blended one, because that's what it expects. Um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, maybe I didn't show you know you can change the the color of your light and it would affect it properly um, this is what a cube a cube looks like and yeah if you like this tutorial make sure you hit the like button and subscribe 
and also the links are going to be in the description and check out my assets to support me thank you so much for watching and have a nice one